Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's class of DDP. Today, we're going to be doing a CAD assignment based on a Pac-Man, recreating a Pac-Man drawing, and it's going to cover certain functions, which I'm going to walk you through. Uh, these functions are scale, move, copy, rotate, uh, and offset. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you what we're going to be drawing today. This is the drawing. It also has uh, text as well. So we're going to be doing move, scale, rotate, offset, text, and trim. All right, all of these are going to be covered. So the main parts of it are this box, which has an offset inner box, text, um, this larger shape here, which is going to be offset, and um, this uh, drawing here, which is going to be copied and scaled. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to open up our Fusion 360, and we're at our very blank page, our home page, as it were. And to start, we want to click on the front face of the 3D cube. We're going to then go up to create, create a sketch, click on the square, and here we are on our sketch plane. All right, so I'm going to start with the box over here that says Pac-Man, and that's going to help me place where the jagged shape is going to go. All right, and in this tutorial um, and all following it, I'm going to uh, refer to shapes as geometry. All right, so to set this point, I'm going to hit enter. All right, there's you could click on it. Um, or you can right click on your mouse and hit OK, but I like to hit enter, it's just a little more, has, a, has some finality to it. Now that we have our shape, we're gonna go over to our modify section here. And this is your offset function. It also lives right here in the drop down menu over here. And a third place is when you uh, use the keyboard shortcut O. So, Keyboard shortcuts are extremely useful and I do encourage you to learn what they are for each thing that you're gonna be using a lot. So for example, line is L, trim, T, offset, O, move, M, and you just simply hit that um, on your keyboard and it pops up. So we're gonna be hitting O, okay, hit O, and then my uh, whole geometry lights up in a blue. I'm gonna click on that, and then this blue arrow palette shows up. We're, we're simply going to click and drag and decide how much space we want between that and the offset one. I'm gonna hit enter to, to um, set it. And next we have our text. We're gonna do our Pac-Man. So we're gonna go to create, we're gonna go to text, and I'm going to actually, um, start the text outside of the box and then move it later and I'll show you why. So I'm going to um, going to put my text in the field here. You see this field, uh, field box um, pops up and we're gonna write, I'm gonna put on caps lock to write Pac-Man. And that looks okay. Here it is over here. Now for some reason, I'm not really sure why this is, I'm gonna hit okay it always ends up being um, upside down. So I'm gonna go to, and I could have actually rotated it while I was still working on the text, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to go to the move copy, right, which is M, and I'm going to then select this. All right, so once I've selected it, we have this wheel. Okay, that's not right. Okay, we're gonna select it, go to move copy, and now we'll be able to move it, but I wanna rotate it, there we go. Okay, almost there, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna take this white palette, move it up here, and we have our Pac-Man. All right, I'm gonna hit enter to set it, and that part is done. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw this jagged shape here, I'm going to go to my zoom, which is in this bottom menu, and click on it, and I'm gonna zoom out just by clicking and dragging in. Um, all right, so this is about 
where I want it. I'm gonna use my pan tool, which is the hand to move it up. And this should give me enough space for my drawing. So the reason why, I'm gonna to go to my line tool here. And the reason why I like to do the box first is because it helps me place where the jagged um, shape is gonna go. It starts kind of inwards about here. And I like to drag it to the center. And then I'm going to make the other top point about here. It doesn't go all the way above the box, but somewhere just below the top of it. I'm gonna click here bring this down, this line, and I'm just gonna start my drawing as close as I can to what I'm looking at. So you should be looking at your um, reference, which I've attached to Google Classroom, the drawing itself. While you're doing this, that's what I'm doing. I printed mine out, but you could have yours on another browser window. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hit that. Now, when you've completed a shape, all right, and it's a closed shape, you've gone from one point all the way around and, and gotten back to that same point, it's gonna highlight blue. If it does not highlight blue and look like this, that means you have a line that is not closed, like, um, and there's a part of it that um, is not connected to the other lines of the geometry. So this is, and it's all one shape, all right, so now what we're gonna do is, if you'll notice in the drawing, it's offset four times. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go to my offset, or I'm gonna hit O, and you know that um, you've done it because this field pops up. I'm going to then hover over the geometry of the shape. It's gonna highlight blue. The blue palette, uh, arrow palette shows up, and I'm gonna drag in. Okay, hit enter to set it, set it. I'm gonna hit O again. And the thing is, is you can't offset from here. It needs to be from the original geometry. So I'm gonna click that again. Okay, click that again. And wait till these dotted line um, things show up. And then I'm gonna bring that below the second one. Okay, that looks good to me. I'm gonna hit O again, select the original geometry. Bring it in, and that'll be our fourth offset. All right, so we have our box, we have our text, we have our shape, um, we've offset, um, we've moved, all right? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our Pac-Man drawing with the um, pellets and the cherry. And to do this, I'm gonna draw right inside the center, but it's gonna be really hard to do that from this distance. So I'm gonna utilize my zoom in go way in there like so i'm going to use my pan to move it okay i know it's kind of hard to see i'm going to zoom out just a little bit here all right there we go okay now i'm going to make my pac-man first by going to our circle tool click the set Okay, um, I'm then gonna go to the line tool, L. Start here, go to the center, it makes it very easy because there's a center point there and wherever I want the mouth to end. And I'm gonna right click and hit okay just to show you. Now we have this shape here, but I wanna get rid of this part here. So we're gonna utilize our trim, okay? That's in the modify section. And again, this has a shortcut, so, which is T. I'm gonna do that, okay? I'm just gonna hit T, all right? And you'll see that the cursor, there's a little X behind the white arrow. This is gonna highlight in red just the geometry that I'm hovering over, and it's gonna get rid of it, and it's just that simple, all right? Um, I'm going to then finish the drawing by making an I, okay, and that looks fine. Um, but I don't know, I don't really like the placement of the I, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna to go to my move copy, which also has a um, keyboard shortcut function of M. I'm gonna do that instead, M. All right, so I'm gonna select that geometry, and I'm gonna, instead of using these arrows, go to the white palette. This gives me a little more freedom of movement. All right, now I like that. So what I'm gonna do is, but I think this is sort of facing down. I wanna turn it so it's facing up more. So. I'm going to then <clears throat> highlight this, 
hit M, all right? And the whole thing is highlighted, and I'm gonna use that to straighten out my Pac-Man, all right? This is gonna um, be important when we uh, do our pellets, all right, which is gonna be what's next. So we're gonna start our first pellet, and this is gonna utilize another function. Okay, we have our pellet there. I'm gonna click OK by right clicking. And now what we have is we have one. If we look at these pack bands, we have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five evenly spaced dots here. To, to make that, we're gonna utilize our, I gotta move this here, rectangular patterning uh, function, which is in create, and it's right there. All right, rectangular patterning. Now to do this, um, we're going to, well, let's select it. Select it, select that. You're gonna see arrows. This is going to, now you can either um, have this patterning be horizontal or vertical. This, uh, the blue highlighted arrow will show you which one is which. And over here we have the quantity, okay? There's three set, but we want five. And the distance is how much distance is in between. Um, let's try one inch, all right? And because our units are set to inches, um, you can set the units um, here in the right side menu browser where you see the uh, unsaved document setting, origin sketches. You'll also see units in there. Um, okay, so make sure it's inches if that's what you're working with. And this is what it looks like with, uh, one inch apart. I'm going to do two inches. Okay, that's what it looks like. Uh, what about 1.5? All right, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. We have our five balls here. OK, but it seemed to not do. I'm going to undo that because it seemed to not get the outside of it. So I just want to try that again. OK. We've set it. We're gonna go to our offset, rectangular, no, not our offset, our rectangular patterning. I'm gonna select the whole geometry. I'm gonna do five, and I'm gonna do 1.5. Okay, hit enter. Oh, there we go, much better. Great. So now what I'm gonna do is, I, I wanna move this whole thing back. Okay, so I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna hit M, and I'm gonna move everything back. And this will give me room for my cherry. Okay, hit enter, set it, go back to our circle. Go over here. All right, there's your cherry. Now, we wanna zoom in because we're gonna to wanna to create this shine right here, um, which is this rectangular, curved rectangular rectangle so we're going to go in here i'm going to utilize my zoom once again my pan go in here and i'm going to go to my line tool instead of going to my line tool which is here i'm going to hit l okay i'm going to make a small line hit enter and i'm going to go i'm going to hit enter okay now i'm going to go to um where i want it to end which is about here Okay, try to get the same distance. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna utilize a different drawing tool. Um, this one, actually, I don't really like this one. This one, let me get rid of it. Draw a different one. There we go. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of the line tool and I'm gonna use an arc. An arc has three different ones where you can make the arc from center, um, or tangent, which we'll get into later, or a three-point arc. And I'm gonna use the three-point arc. The three-point arc is, so point one will be the top, point two will be the bottom, and then the third point will be where you set it in the arc. So I'm gonna click on the top point, go down to the bottom point, and then I'm gonna bend it in, like that. All right, that looks good to me. I'm gonna hit enter to set it. But instead of redrawing this arc, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it and I'll show you how to copy it. So to copy something, you go back to the move copy function, which you can just do M. So that's what I'll do, R, 
um, move copy thing comes up. And what you want to do is select your geometry and more options show up. And among them is something that says create copy. You simply check that box and then our arrows show up and I'm gonna utilize this arrow so it'll be exactly where I want it to be, the same uh, exact line. And I'm gonna move it to the end where that point is on the other side, hit enter. And now I have a perfectly uh, parallel shape right here. But I don't really like where this is. I'm gonna hit enter, set everything. So I'm gonna go back to my move, copy, I'm gonna select the whole thing. I'm gonna move it over here. That's better. All right, most of our cherry is already done. I'm gonna utilize the pan. Oops, pan. There we go, move up, and I'm gonna do the stem now. So <clears throat> to do this, we're gonna do it similarly as we did the shine. I'm gonna start with a line at the top. Okay, I'll hit okay. And then I'm gonna go to my three-point arc arc three point start here go down to here bend it in good all right and i'm going to do the same thing as i did where i'm going to um move copy by hitting m select this line create a copy move it over okay and uh let's see here All right, so you can do this in, in another way. Uh, some, some people like to make it uh, wider at the top and more narrow at the bottom, um, and that looks good too. This looks a little too perfect, I'll be honest with you. So sometimes it looks better to do more of an irregular shape than what I did here, but I'm just showing you your options, okay? So I'm going to um, zoom out. All right, and we have our Pac-Man built, okay? And from here, what we can do is, since everything is made, we can simply copy, rotate, scale, and do all these things. So I'm gonna um, show you how to scale something, and then um, that'll be m pretty much all of the function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move the whole thing. I wanna make sure that everything is selected. Okay, let's move that and not everything is selected, because you see this isn't highlighted. Okay, so that looks better. All right, so I'm gonna make a copy of this. Move it. Okay, right here. All right, I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to be scaling something, all right? We already know how to copy, we know how to move, we know how to rotate, that's all in the move tool, which is the shortcut M or um, under modify. Now we're gonna scale. Scale is to make something larger, and uh, this can be a little tricky, so I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit more, zoom. Okay, and all right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our scale, sketch scale, which is right here in the modify menu. I'm going to then try to um, select this, all right? Now, I'm gonna, what you need to do is once you do this, this thing pops up, all right, where it says, these are all the lines selected. There's 46 lines selected here, which is all of them. Then you have to select a point, which is like an anchor point to scale from, all right? This is the kind of tricky part. So if I were to go to here, uh, nothing's happening. And the reason why I know nothing is happening is because more options would pop up if they were. Um, and also that blue arrow palette would pop up as well. So I'm clicking on different points, nothing is happening. All right, and hey, this could be very frustrating. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cancel, all right? I'm gonna go to my sketch palette, which is right here, and the very top thing, all right, is, is construction. 
Construction is lines that are basically uh, invisible shadow lines. They're not lines that you want to be part of your actual design, but they're lines that may help uh, in conjunction with a function, all right? In this case, it's going to help um, act as an anchor point for our scale. And this will make sense once I show it to you. So I'm going to make sure that construction is um, highlighted. I'm going to go to line, but I'm going to hit L. I'm just going to make a line, okay, horizontally, and I'm going to hit OK and set it. You'll notice that this is a construction line and that it's highlighted when you do it when it's uh, sort of a yellowish dash line instead of a blue solid line. Okay, so now we're ready to go back to our sketch scale. And we're going to do that in our modify, sketch scale. I'm going to drag um, the, the cursor around the whole thing. 46 selected again. We're going to go to our point, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit one of these endpoint anchors. And you'll notice that now this arrow comes up and you have a scale factor that's right here. Now, instead of dragging it, which is a more organic way of uh, scaling, you can, if you want to double the scale, you can simply enter, you know, there's a drop down menu, it could be two, it could be four times, it could be six times, whatever you want, okay? So let's just say I want it to be twice that, I can go in there, hit two, and that's going to um, scale it, but it's gonna mess some things up as well. So I'm gonna undo that. Um, I'm gonna go back to my construction line here, and let's just see what happens when we scale it this way. So I'm gonna go back to my sketch scale. There we go. But this creates problems with this part here. So that's gonna be something that is separately figured out, okay? So with this here, Let's see if we can do patterning again. Okay. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to see what a 0.5 looks like. Maybe a one. How about 0.75? It's good. All right. Well, Oops, okay. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the ones in between because that's the solution I'm coming up with. Okay. Okay, so now I have it exactly the way I want it, all right? And that was a way to solve that problem when you scale it. So what we have, I'm gonna zoom out here to finish my drawing. And also we don't need this construction line anymore. And so we don't do it, we're going to unselect it. We'll select this and delete it, okay? And by the way, to, to delete the circles in between, I selected it by clicking on it and hit delete, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out, all right? So I'm really far away. And I'm gonna set the parameters for my drawing, the whole page of it. So I'm gonna use the rectangle and I'm gonna maybe give myself this much space to draw around, okay? Um, you could always bring it in if you don't like that. But let's just say, for example, this was uh, where I wanted it to be, all right? You could always change this here, the parameters of the box, and um, just by clicking and dragging, all right? So it's very uh, malleable. And now this is where all of our drawing is gonna go, all right? From there, you're simply going to copy and copy and uh, paste uh, multiple uh, Pac-Mans, but I want you to rotate them so they're in the same orientation as they are on the reference here. And uh, try on the sides also to get the same amount of space there as well. So I'm gonna move this in so it's a little more 
like that and move this up. This is looking a little more accurate to the space around it. And just, um, you can uh, work from these original templates here. All right, so that's everything you need to know. I'm gonna zoom in one more time so we get an idea. All right, everything. And there you go. So I'm going to stop the share. All right, so that is everything that you need to complete this lesson. You have rectangular patterning. Um, you learned about construction lines, okay, in scaling. So when you scale, you wanna use a construction line as an anchor for it to scale, okay? And remember that you're not really scaling if you don't see that um, blue arrow or an arrow pop up and some more options in the field. Um, we worked with offset, move, copy, rotate, and trim. Because remember, we use the trim to um, take away this part of the circle. We use text, and um, those are all the functions that you're gonna need. So if you need any other help, there'll be a Q&A at the end of this. And of course, you can always type your questions in the field of the Google stream. So that's it for today. And um, I'll talk to you in just a moment.